Hello and welcome to Shore of Sis classes. In this video, I am going to solve some of the problems relating to econometrics. The chapter majorly focuses on the concept of multiple linear regression models and some related problems which are associated with the multiple linear regression model. So the first question is the simplest possible multiple linear regression model is one variable model, two variable model, three variable model and a multiplariable model. So what do we mean by multiple linear regression model? Suppose yi is a function or is dependent on beta naught plus beta 1 x1 plus beta 2 x2 dot dot, dot beta k x k plus the error term now in this case the simplest possible form will be yi beta naught plus beta 1 x1 so the simplest possible form will be the two variable model which is yi and xi so in that case yi and x1 so in that case the two variable model is the correct answer Moving back to the second question which says that the multiple linear regression models are linear in the parameters and linear in variables. Linear in parameters but not linear in variables may not be linear in parameters but linear in variables may not be linear in parameters and variables. Now in the case of multiple linear regression model the equation can be like this. Here the important um, the thing is that though here the x is, we have the x squared term which is not linear but this nonlinearity is on the part of the so though it is not linear in the uh, in not linear but this nonlinearity this nonlinearity is on variable not on not on parameter so the correct option is it may be linear it may not be linear in variables but it should be linear in parameters so the option two is the correct answer moving to the third question we have yi is a function of beta 1 x1 beta 2 x2 beta 3 x3 ui where xi uh, is this is an example of which variable model three variable x variable four variable and three beta model so basically we have to collect uh, count all the x's and y to know the number of variables so here we have 3x and 1y so it is a four variable model so option c is the correct answer moving to the fourth question we have suppose ln y or log of yi is a function of beta 1 beta 2 x2 beta 3 x3 plus u so the partial regression coefficients are given by so what we have to do we have to just take the ln y d of x2 which is nothing but beta 2 and d ln y d of x3 which is nothing but beta 3 to know the partial regression coefficients so the answer is beta 2 beta 3 moving to the fifth question we have in a classical linear regression model if the variance ui is sigma square that refers the assumption of zero mean value disturbance sum homoscedasticity no autocorrelation and no multicollinearity so zero mean assumption is expectation of ui is equals to zero and the variance of ui is sigma squared this is this both of these two are the classical exemptions which must be satisfied in the case of any regression model now this assumption says that the variance is same the variance is same throughout the population or data so when the variance is not changing we say it is homo scedastic so option b is the correct answer moving to the sixth question we have the question the classical linear regression model which has lambda x2 lambda 3 x3 equal to 0 when lambda 2 lambda 3 equal to 0 refers which of this assumption now when we put lambda 2 equal to 0 and lambda 3 equal to 0 that means x2 and x3 are not correlated so they are not correlated so there is no correlation between these two variables and this thing the correlation among the variables is known as the problem of multi collinearity the absence of multi collinearity absence of it is termed as no multi collinearity so option d is the correct answer 
so in this video i have covered the first six or six questions relating to this chapter in the next video i will be solving more questions till then thank you